Hey, city boy. Come here, if you would. Yeah. Now, I know normally we uh, have you on detail going up and down, making sure all the cattle are settled in while we set up camp. But I figured... If you're going to be, uh, well, with us for a long time, you ought to know how to set a fire. You know how to make a fire without matches or lighter. Well, kind of figured as much. Here, let me show you. See how I've got these logs set up and I have this notch carved out of this one. Well, I'm going to take this stick here and I'm going <laughs> to set it in that notch right here and I'm just going <clears> to <throat> start to rub them together like this quick as I can. <laughs> and after a minute or so, the friction builds up more and more, slowly but surely causing heat to start to build and build, until finally, after a long time of waiting, a small spark happens, a little combustion from heating it up so much, at which point you... <laughs> Quickly grab some of these dried sticks, leaves, twigs, that sort of thing. You drop it on top of that spark and blow. Ah, there we go. See, now it's started to catch these little bits of tinder. And from here, we put on slightly larger sticks. And you can grab a hold of the fire now. See how I've got it by the back end here, and it's not quite burning to me. There we go. I can move it in a little bit and start piling on some of the sticks. And then it's a slow but steady thing as you put slightly larger sticks on top as each one starts to burn. Until eventually, you can pile the logs on it. And then they'll burn for ooh, a long time. It's a slow process, but it's worth the wait. Do you know why I showed you that? <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit too, uh... A little bit to make you less useless, that's true. No. The reason I showed you that is because it's uh, an example. You city folk like metaphors and whatnot, right? Well, that's me. There's a lot of friction at first, and it takes a long time and a decent amount of hard work, but eventually I'll warm up to you, and a little spark will go off. And from there, it's still a slow and steady process to get closer to me. So if I've seemed particularly gruff or off-putting to you, uh, it's because it takes a while. I'm not exactly an open book. Pretty much everything about me is something that I don't like talking about. But you already know at least one thing. And I suppose I owe you a couple of extra answers for all the hard work you've been putting in. Although I have had to go back and redo some of it because you did it wrong. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. You can ask me a couple of questions and I might answer them. Do 
I have a family? <laughs> well, we're getting directly into it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I do. A long, long time ago, I thought, well, I thought it might make my, my family happy if I tried my hand at a, being straight. So I got a girl, we got married, and we had a son. But uh, I was miserable. It wasn't right. It wasn't me. So in the end, we separated. Got a divorce. But we're still friends. Ironically enough, she actually turned out to be one of the few people from my hometown who supported me for what I was and what I was doing. And I can't thank her enough for that. As for my boy, well, I see him every once in a while and I, I do my best to teach him a thing or two when I can, but He, uh, he stays with, with her and, and her family most of the time. I'm gone too often to, uh, have him. I see him on the holidays, though, you know, they make the trip for Christmas and whatnot. Well, no, let that be a lesson to you. If there's one thing that you can take from all this, it's not to be sorry for me. Don't pity me. If there's one thing that you can take from all that's happened to me, I want it to be, don't try and please other people. All you gotta do is make yourself miserable. You do what you need to do. You understand? You do what you need to do to make yourself happy. Anything that you need to do to be fulfilled, content, to feel at home. That's what you need to do. If you go looking trying to please other people, all you're going to do is be miserable for the rest of your life. People are always going to want to change what you are and who you are. You can't let them. Hmm. I said a couple, so I guess that means a couple. Go ahead. What else do you got? How did I learn all of this? Uh, well, that's actually pretty straightforward. I just sort of picked it up here and there. I uh, started out, grew up on a farm, so I knew how to take care of animals and hay, and that's pretty much it. And then, when I came here to work, people just sort of slowly taught me, piece by piece, how to do the things I do. Tying knots, lassoing, wrestling, riding, that sort of thing. Well, there were times, many times actually, that uh, I wound up having to uh, knock a few teeth loose out of some people's heads, but... That's sort of a young, hot-headed man's game. I, I don't really do that anymore. No, 
Nowadays, I just sort of vaguely threaten and people seem to straighten up. <laughs> For some reason, they think I can kick their asses, but honestly, I, I don't see it. All right. Now, you remember what I said there. Whatever you want. Whatever you really and truly want. Don't let anything stop you from taking it. All right, you have a good night.